everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have my July favourites for you all. It feels like a week ago I was sitting down and filming my June favourites, so yeah. I know this video is a tiny bit early, but I knew that I had to film this video today or else I wouldn't be able to film it for the rest of the month until probably like mid-August. So I was like, today or never, Laura, let's do this. So I do have a few products for you guys, not a ton, but I do have a few. So let's get into it. Okay, so starting off with makeup, I want to be talking about a foundation that I've been adoring recently. I did purchase this a while back and I think I've used it in a video, I'm not 100% sure. But this one's from Clarins and it is their True Radiance foundation. I'm not wearing it today because it's a smidgen too light for me at the moment, but I have been wearing this for the majority of the month. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is fragrant, so if you are sensitive to that, then I wouldn't recommend this for you. But this is an absolutely beautiful foundation. I will definitely do a review of this shortly. Um, did I even tell you what it was? <laughs> it's the Clarins True Radiance Foundation with SPF 15. And I have mine in the shade 110 Honey. Love this foundation. It's so, so beautiful on the skin. A highlighting duo that I've been doing quite a lot recently is the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter, which to be honest, I never really liked up until now because I only ever tried this while I was significantly fair, um, like lighter than NC15 from MAC Pale. Um, so I never really gave it a shot because I hated how it looked when I was pale. And since I started fake tanning, I just kind of forgot about it. Pulled it out in July and I've been using it non-stop ever since. It's the highlight that I have on my cheeks today and I'm obsessed and I also am obsessed with this new brush that I picked up. I picked it up from a company, hold on, this doesn't have a name on it but I bought it from Designer Makeup Tools and seriously it is just the perfect size to just put highlight there. For bronzer I've been enjoying two. This one is from Too Faced. Um, ignore the packaging, I bought it in like a collection set, but it is permanent. Um, this is the Sun Bunny Bronzer. It looks like this. It isn't a matte bronzer by any means. It does have quite a sheen to it, but it is quite nice because in winter, I feel like my skin is a little bit more dull and a little bit less lively. So I like putting on something like this. It's not ultra metallic, but it does have a sheen to it. So it does look really, really, really beautiful on the skin. And this is what I've been using pretty much every day for the past three weeks. So love this. It's so beautiful. And some days I want to add a bit more depth to my face or I might not want to be super, super like I want to balance out the sheen with some matte bronzer. This is actually a powder. Um, this is the MAC Care Blend Press Powder in the shade Dark. Um, I bought this on recommendation of Jaclyn Hill, but it does look like this. Yeah, that's more true to color there. Um, it's just a really, really soft powder and it just looks really, really beautiful. I do have it on slightly today. It's an absolutely beautiful powder. It's finely milled, it's soft, it's better than the MAC bronzing powders. I only owned one of those and that was not a fun time at all. Um, so I much prefer the Studio Care Blend press powders um, to use as bronzers. Really, really enjoy it. So I have another powder to show you guys. I didn't realize that I was loving so many powders this month. But this is the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. This I've been using to set underneath my eyes mainly, but some days if I'm really, really, really running out of time and I don't have time to reach for another powder, I'll just put this all over my face as well. It's just a really, really nice setting powder. It keeps my makeup in place. I haven't used it in flash photography, but to be honest, I don't think it's going to be that good just because it is a little bit of a silica-based powder. At least to me, that's what I feel like it is. Um, so I haven't used it in flash photography, but for day-to-day, -day, just setting my makeup, it is really, really nice, especially setting that undry area. It's so gorgeous, but it does have little sparkles or light reflecting bits in it. So if you didn't like that, you probably wouldn't like this, but I do quite like it. I've been using it every single day for the past few weeks. So really, really like that. So I want to talk about a face cream. In June, I used up my Holy Grail moisturizer, which is the Estee Lauder Day Wear. Um, and I haven't really repurchased it because I do have quite a few moisturizers in my backup drawer. Um, so I did pull out this one, which I bought from Priceline a short while ago. This one's the Johnson's Face Care Daily Essentials Nourishing 24-Hour 
Day Cream with SPF 15. This is for dry skin. I don't feel like if you had dry skin, this would be that good for you just because I don't feel like it's hydrating enough. I have, say, normal combination skin and I feel like it's just perfect for me. Um, it's not the same as Estee Lauder, but it is a really, really nice face cream. It doesn't leave your face tacky and it doesn't leave it with a residue. It does dry relatively satin and it does absorb into the skin really, really nice. And for the price, it's under $10 at Priceline on not on sale sorry so i think this is an amazing bargain i also have the night cream but i haven't used that too much but the day cream i've been using so often for eyeshadows i have been reaching towards my ingot palette um this one in particular i do own a few others um i didn't wear it today because i did want to change things up but i've been obsessed with these colors down the side like seriously every single day I'm going to work if I'm going out I've been using these palettes these colors in this palette they're phenomenal the only color I don't like in this palette is this super super silver stark silver color but every other color I adore in this palette um, the one that I've been using the most has to be these two here this one and this one um, this one is 404 and this one is 405 if you are curious I love these so much I did build this palette myself, but seriously, the quality of the Inglot shadows, at least the shimmery ones, are phenomenal. They're so beautiful to use. I'm going to quickly talk about three lipsticks that have been in my handbag constantly for the entire month. These two I actually picked up kind of at the start of the month. Fran bought me this one. Um, this is the Kat Von D Lolita lipstick. I absolutely adore it so much i did post a photo on my instagram wearing this lipstick i also picked up this one around the same time i got lolita actually um this is from smashbox and it is a red it is a part of their b legendary lipsticks in the shade bing it's what i have on my lips right now i would swatch these for you but i currently have fake tan developing <laughs> so i don't want to have like white stripes on my hand and then my other lipstick favorite for the month has been MAC Brave. It looks like this. Sorry, it's... I just cut out. But yeah, this color is the most gorgeous everyday wearable shade. I wear it every single day for work. Before this month, I didn't really read for it much, but I've just been loving it. Like the weather, this lipstick, it's just been perfect. Another skincare item, this one is from Pericone MD. This is their high potency evening repair. This I've been using just as a lotion kind of thing. I think this is a serum, I have no idea, but I use it by itself. Um, and seriously, my skin just feels so beautiful in the morning. Like, I feel like I'm glowing. I feel like my skin has just so much health to it. It's just a really, really, really beautiful serum, cream product. I'm not really too sure what it is. But yeah, I'm super, super happy that I did invest in this. I much prefer it over their cold plasma line. Oh my dear lordy that stinks it stinks so bad i posted a photo on my instagram that the cold plasma that's one thing i hated this month was the cold plasma face cream by dr pericone oh my god oh it was so nasty 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 it smells like dead fish not even kidding it smells like dead fish Ooh. but anyway let's change <laughs> Let's change topics, shall we? So, at the start of the month, I actually stuck on my own acrylics, or I don't really know what they were called, or what you would call them, but I stuck them on. Um, you would have seen them in a few Instagram photos of mine. They were so ridiculously long, so I ended up just like ripping them off. <laughs> don't judge. <laughs> but, I've been obsessed with painting my nails this month, although I don't have any nail polish on at the moment. Typical, right? Um, but I've been loving these two shades. These are both by Rimmel. Um, this one is a part of their Salon Pro with Lycra. What's Lycra? I have no idea. I'm not really into all that nail terminology stuff. But this one is a part of their Kate Moss line in the shade Soul Session. That's what it's called. It's a really, really beautiful mauve color. It's really, really, really pretty. And I really quite enjoy it. Also, this one by Rimmel. This is a part of their Super Shine line um, in the shade rapid ruby this does dry a lot darker than it does appear in the bottle um i do have this on my toes at the moment actually and then i did pick up this because i thought it'd be quite fun this is the sally hansen big matte top coat 
It does make my nails matte, not super matte, like if I had velvet on them, like you know those velvet nails, not that matte, but it did make them kind of matte. Um, and I really, really liked it just to kind of change it up a little bit and just have it a little bit different. Like I really, really liked when I had all glossy, but then I had one accent nail with matte. I thought that was really, really cool. Second to last is a perfume favorite. This is the Katy Perry Killer Queen perfume. Oh my God, this smells so good. Like seriously, I love this scent so much. I sprayed too much, but that's okay. <laughs> Okay, so lucky last favorite is not anything beauty related. It's not anything fashion related. It's not anything makeup related. It's just a completely random favorite, but I wanted to share it with you guys, especially if you're in like the colder weather at the moment, or if you're going to be going into colder weather, because seriously, after this month, after August, it's springtime, woohoo, and things will start heating up. But until then, I did buy this guy, and he's such a little cutie. Meet Frankie. <laughs> He is one of those little things that you like stick in the microwave and like for a minute and then they heat up and then you kind of use them as like a heat pack, not heat pack, like similar to a hot water bottle but like more modern. It's like one of those wheat packs, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it's like one of those heatable things that warms up. And I've just been loving it. Like seriously, I've been doing this every single night. Uh, like putting him in the microwave, it looks kind of creepy putting him in the microwave. Just because it's got a face and stuff, it kind of looks a bit weird and a bit unnatural. But it's okay. But I absolutely love it. I bought it from Tar- no, not Target. I bought it from Big W for like $10. I think it was half price though. But I don't know. I think it was good value for money. Okay guys, so I don't think that I have any more favorites to share with you all. So yeah, I'm going to head off now, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below if you want to see any of these products in any reviews or if you want to, if you want me to review any products, definitely let me know in the comments down below and I'd be more than happy to do that for you. And yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.